honest SUVs, with the frame and solid axles, will soon be gone from the new car market. Pajero Sport is just one of these, and therefore the attention to it in the secondary is increased. 2008 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport I generation was created on the chassis of the L200 pickup truck, as an alternative to Pajero. It was delivered to Russia with a 2.5-liter turbo diesel, 85 horsepower, and a 3.0 V6 gasoline engine. Also, gasoline sixes with a volume of 3.5 liters were installed on the car. Mitsubishi Pajero Sport 2 generation remains the most compromised option in the secondary SUV market. Quality, 4 times 4 potential, reasonable price and reliability. Complaints about a car on the net never turn into curses. Sport is respected deservedly. The second generation of the SUV was produced from 2008 to 2015. In 2013, the assembly of cars began at the PSMA Rust plant in Kaluga. 2016 Mitsubishi Pajero Sport 3 generation began selling in 2016. It is equipped with a petrol V6 3.0, 209 HP, a diesel engine 2.4, 181 HP, and an 8-speed automatic transmission. The all-wheel drive scheme has not changed. And yet, according to the owners, Sport 2 slightly lowered the waving banner of the first-generation car. Why? Until 2010, Pajero Sport was sold with a 3.2 DID diesel, 160 horsepower, and AB6 3.0 petrol, 220 horsepower. To the first claims at least, the domestic version of the Solarium digests steadfastly. The chain and the timing drive is not prone to stretching. Yes, the turbine was noisy and ate oil, but it was fixed under warranty. In terms of dynamics, and in terms of reliability, a gasoline V6 is even preferable. However, not everyone is ready to put up with this appetite. In the city, up to 20L slash 100 kilometers. The timing belt needs to be changed every 60,000 kilometers too often. And besides, there are cases of delamination of the rubber layer of the crankshaft pulley which leads to festivities of the shaft with consequences in the literal sense of the word. In 2010, the 3.2 diesel was replaced by a 2.5 with 178 horsepower with drive belt. The motor is also not bad, but it requires more attention to both the attachment drive belts and the crankcase ventilation system. The crankcase is equipped with electric heating, the contacts of which melted. On long runs, the rear crankshaft oil seal leaks. The cost of restoration is about 10,000 rubles. There are no complaints about the 5-speed manual gearbox, the 4-speed automatic looked no worse. With a 2.5 diesel engine, a 5-speed automatic transmission was already installed, which proved to be excellent even in harsh operating conditions. But it is she who has glitches that have to be eliminated by flashing the brains. Suspension brakes do not fail either, if you operate and maintain the car wisely, inject hinges and all that. Levers go more than 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Many people notice a slight roll to the left side by 100,000 kilometers, the specifics of the weight distribution. But it can upset the steering. Rack knock is a common problem ending in replacement. But more often the steering column is naughty. The steering shaft hinge sometimes even bites. You will have to buy it too. It will cost under 10,000 rubles plus work. Dissatisfied with the paintwork, chips. Over time, the front doors and roof fade. The back door is painted even on medium runs. Rings and salon. Hard and booming plastic quickly loses its presentation, creaks. The skin on the steering wheel peels off, like after sunburn. And a crunch when turning the steering wheel means an imminent failure of the airbag loop, snails. In a word, Pajero Sport will not leave you completely without problems. There will be something to do at your leisure, but be sure that the money invested in it will be carefully saved transmission. In the easy select transmission, vacuum valves and a front axle connection sensor deserve attention. There are failures of the sensors of the transfer modes, however, more often on more advanced versions of Super Select. AKP-5 can bring a surprise in the form of ECU failures, only diesel versions are buggy. To fix it, a flashing is required. The weak cooling of the transmission can also be considered a disadvantage. Under load, overheating often occurs. Engine. The V6 is remarkably durable. The main disease is oil leaks from the plugs of the oil system. Parts cheap, but expensive repairs. The intake manifold may also chirp, 70,000 rubles, but the disease is not massive. 
Some people hear a whistle after starting an unheated 2.5 DID diesel. The source is the viscous coupling of the cooling system fan. But even after replacing the whistle, the sound may return. Replacing belts and rollers on this motor is every 90,000 kilometers. Suspension. Serves honestly. Problems deliver the front upper levers. The resource of silent blocks on them is 80 to 100,000 kilometers. But replacement is possible only in the collection. Among the troubles is the failure of the pendulum lever, as well as the steering arm. Be sure to check the rear calipers, they often turn sour. The disease manifests itself in cars that were actively used on the roads, or those that were negligently serviced by the previous owner. Body. Rust is a traditional guest. Yes, over time, the edges of the doors and thresholds bloom. But rust also settles on the frame. However, the thickness of the profile is enough even for grandchildren. But it should be borne in mind that VIN is stamped on the frame, behind the rear right wheel. If corrosion devours it, problems with the traffic police are inevitable. And thresholds are a sore spot. An overlay is attached to them, under which sand falls and works in emery mode. Electrician. Do not be afraid if the check engine light is on on the dashboard. Most likely, oxygen sensors are capricious. Many simply turn them off so as not to annoy. But the breakdown of the unit responsible for connecting the all-wheel drive is already serious. If you buy a car from an active off-road enthusiast, you can run into damaged ABS wires.